Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are pumped up because I am amongst legends. The legends have returned <laughs> to the dojo. That's right. What is going on? It's your boy, Preston, Fat Samurai Guy. Back again, hanging out with extremely talented actors, filmmakers, and directors. And we're talking kung fu, baby, today. That's right. Martial arts, action. We're going to get it. We're going to show some clips. We're talking Shadow Fist 3, the final chapter, and Blackout, baby. Oh, yeah. And representing the Urban Action Showcase and Expo. Make sure you guys... Click on the link below to see when it's going to happen, who's going to be there, and what awesome moich you guys can buy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> moichandising. Moichandising. That's right. That's right. First up, let's start. We're going to go around the panel here. Who do we have here? Oh, shit. Introduce yourself, brother. Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? How's everybody doing? Um, that's cool. <laughs> I'm Orlando Cruz um, from Demon Gender Productions and then also from R4 Films. And I am a stuntman, action director, and filmmaker. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. And uh, congratulations. Somebody just got hitched recently. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I congrats, did brother. Congrats. Very, very yeah, happily, man. Happily. yeah, man. That's it. The countdown begins. That's right. Yep. <laughs> that, I mean, that sounded bad. <laughs> I was like, what's going to happen, Samurai guy? You're freaking me out. So, the countdown to happiness begins, my friend. All right, up here. Here he is. Angel, welcome. Hey, my name's Angel Brophy. I uh, worked on Blackout as part of the cast. Also, my team, B Squad Acción, uh, worked on some of the choreo for the, uh, for the flick. Also, for Shadow Fist 3. I've uh, been working with uh, Jeff and Bobby for the last three years, and it's been a ride. We've been doing some great stuff and just excited to be here and just talk shop and have fun. Oh, yeah. And, le and then let's see the awesome collection you got back there. You want to see my collection? Yeah, Jeez. man. I'm, I, I'm, we're, I, we are brothers now. <laughs> well, I have a lot of Power Ranger stuff. Look at that. Marvel, DC. Nice. You know. Yeah. Wow. That's right. It's a, a a lot of my paychecks go to this, which my <laughs> wife doesn't like that much. But <laughs> that is awesome collection, man. Go go, Power Rangers. That's right. That's awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot more. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you're like me, man. You got stuff stashed everywhere. <laughs> it's hard to walk in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course. <laughs> uh, Robert, welcome back. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Robert <laughs> Jefferson here, R4 Films, writer, producer, and uh, director, sometimes an actor. Uh, do some editing. Do we, we, we do we do a little bit of everything over at R4. We met, do our own music direction. We, we try and we try and encompass the whole film package. And a huge fan of of all kinds of pop culture and nerd culture stuff. So I love this show. Great. I'm happy to be on here with, with you guys today, man. You're good brothers here. Yeah, man. It's great to have you back here in the dojo. But uh, I got it. You got to show the shirt now. Let, let, oh. you know, look what the amazing yeah. Wu Tang clan. That's what's yeah. up. Oh, you disappeared. Okay. It's good. There you go. Yeah. Swinging through yeah. the neighborhood <laughs> Spider Man. That's, so I made that's, out of it. That, that is I what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. That that's dope. what I'm talking about. Yeah. I took a chance on a website and it paid off. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. Nice. I, gotta get, I gotta give me one. But do they come in size six X? Uh, this this is a twelve X. So yeah, probably. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the legend himself. Here he is, my brother from another mother. Once again in the dojo. Welcome back, brother. Thank you. Bobby. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. Good seeing you, Preston, uh, Angel, Orlando, Jeff. Always a pleasure, guys. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Sir. He has done it all. That's right. Bobby's done it all. Acting, martial artist, action director. He's done it all. That's right. He is the king of cool. That's right. That's his new name. My nickname I gave him now. You have to keep that name. What is that, Velvet? Congrats again, Orlando. Congrats again, Orlando, on uh, getting hitched, man. Hey, 18 <laughs> years. We just celebrated 18 years, me and me and my partner, man. So, wow, hey, congrats. congrats. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, man. All right. 
now is the way it had started. Now, did were these filmed uh, kind of back to back, Bobby? Both of these projects, or they, so, did you do one after the other? So Blackout, we did first. Uh, we started that actually last year, um, and then we shot uh, a good portion of it in Mexico. Uh, and the other portion back in the United States. But as always, you know, we wanted to have, we, we know they're short films, but we want them to have like a, a big feel. So that's why we kind of use both countries, the United States and Mexico, to kind of give it that international feel. And again, it, it appeals to a wider audience as well, too. Yes, yes, for sure. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I can't spoil nothing. I can't spoil nothing. But uh, both of these, film projects were legit baby uh, oh yeah i enjoyed both of them they, they, i was just like on the edge of my seat over here i was like oh shit <laughs> we're gonna get like oh he did what <laughs> she did what oh i was i was like a bit i was like a little kid in the candy store over here just having fun <laughs> watching these amazing fight sequences i i had a blast man i mean thank you the, the, the mean, stories are just of course the stories are polar opposite one is nostalgia and one is more you know mainstream uh, right. But again, we wanted more of a story base as opposed to just just the action this time. You know, we have Not enough sure. action, but I think that the story kind of carries both films. Yes. With a lot of emotion. Yes, yes, for sure. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check out the teaser trailer for Blackout. I'm an agent. Never mind for who. We're the good guys. This is the work. We seem to be in that impasse. But you know I can't let you take him. Here's my whole mission. what <laughs> the action itch baby oh yeah oh yeah man we got to take a look at that again and do, do a little breakdown and all of you gents uh you know you know what we do here like to talk yes. behind the scenes right, right. and the creations yeah. of things no spoilers no spoilers yep. uh but uh yeah let's have some fun and check that out again i am pumped trailer got me pumped up again <laughs> all right let me go ahead and break bring it up here on screen yeah All right. So, Bobby, yeah. Uh, how long did it, was, was it to shoot Blackout? How long did it take? Uh, Blackout, about, I want to say, over the course of two months. Okay. In total, if you add the time up. And that's because of the international implications of, the, of how we, we formulated the story. But again, we wanted to show the beauty of Mexico uh, as well as the United States. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Great locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to give a shout out to um, Alfred. Uh, uh, um, okay. bit, bit, um, help me, Angel. What's yeah. his name? Viteronis. Alfredo sure Viramo Viramontes. Uh, Viramontes. Part yes. of the BCV production over down here. They're he like who produced the film. Yeah. Yeah, they're my they're my go-to guys for uh, for filmmaking down here. Uh, they're young, but they're passionate, very talented people. Uh, the, the, even though there's a little bit of a language barrier, uh, Bobby and and Alf, uh, Alfredo, which is the DP on on the Mexico Mexico footage, like they were like in sync. They they didn't have to speak the the same language, only the language of cinema, and they understood what they wanted. 
uh, how how Bobby wanted to work, what he wanted to do. It was pretty magical to just see them work together, not not speaking the same language. It was pretty cool. This this shot this shot right here that that that's on the screen. We walked into this location, and I started setting up lights because that's kind of like one of the things I I do. And then they had lights, and I explained to to Alfie what what you know we needed in my broken Spanish. And then I went off to do something else, and he comes over and he taps me on the shoulder. I turn around, and the stuff that I had, I had like messily explained looked like that, and I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> oh, yes. wow. Exactly. See, yes. do that. Well, you you kind of beat me to the punch, uh, Robert, Sorry. because the uh, no 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 it's perfect. This is why you're here, my friend. <laughs> but the the cinematography, I love it in this movie. I love the lighting and everything in it, man. It it Thanks. gives it more care. It gives the characters more character. Uh huh. Yeah, it's so good. And there she is. There she is, Bobby. Yeah, she is. Roxalinda. Shout Roxalinda. out. Roxalinda. Shout Roxalinda. out. Shout oh, out. Always I mean, killing it. This is this this. I think this is her year. You know, with Shadow Fist three and and, and Blackout, and of course, you know, she did. It's a spectacular job uh, working with Orlando last year in uh, in Nick in um, Jugando con Fuego. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Again, just she's one of the best. She's uh, an unsung yeah. talent, and uh, I'm just happy to be honored that she she continues to work with us. Yeah, she's phenomenal. There's the shot. <laughs> There's <up>? the shot. <laughs> Angel. Could you look any more badass? You know, if you guys do, you, you guys do another poster. This has to go on it somewhere. Yeah. Please. I, I mean, I, I couldn't look that badass if even if I wanted to, man. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, and yet, and yet. <laughs> yeah, Angel. Let me tell you, when he, when they showed us when they showed us the shot after they did this, they're like, "Yo, check this out, check this out." And I saw, I was like, ah, "You'll smile." <laughs> like, that, that. Yeah, yes. this this is the shot. This is what brings us action fans yeah. to the dance. I was projecting my inner Quentin Tarantino moment. Like, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, Came off too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I I was kind of surprised that that Bobby wanted me for the role. Uh, I wasn't really expecting it, but when he said I want you to play this role, I was like, I'm I'm more than down. I'm let, let's just do it. And yeah. once we started to work the characters and stuff, it was fun like to bounce off each other because we do yeah. have a little bit of that kind of body cop yeah. chemistry. Yeah. Not like uh, the odd couple, but but yeah. kind of we, we know what we need to do. So it's it was yeah. pretty it, it was a lot of fun like work, working that stuff out uh, as as a performer mostly. And and the action well the, the action came a little bit second nature to me because I've been doing it for for a bit but but it was a lot of fun like just uh, grinding it out and, and trying to find the character the right the right tone to play it in too. Oh yeah. Yeah. You killed it my friend. You, you killed, killed it. it. You, you, it was a remarkable performance. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. One thing can one thing Samo taught me years ago. He said, like, "Bobby, he said I said, well, I asked him why are your films always like anything you do is just so successful." And his statement to me was characters. He said, I create very interesting characters that the audience can live through vicariously. And so that's really been a staple of mine. I don't care if you got a name or not. If there's something about you um, that can bring the character to life, well, that's that's what's most important for true filmmakers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well said. Well said from the master. Uh, but speaking of the master of cinematography, Robert, again, love the lighting in this room, man. Yeah, it's the that's a combination, yeah. Uh, Jefferson and, and Al Alfie working together, yeah. Shout out to Alfie. Yeah, shout yeah, out to shout Alfie. Out. Yeah, look at that. That's got to go on the poster. We got to do another poster. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Let's oh, yeah, that's great. There he is. Angel <laughs> throwing down. Let's go. <laughs> Mike. Oh, look, look at all this action. Come on, guys. Yeah. You know y'all want to, everybody watching the stream right now. Y'all know you got to <laughs> see it. You got to see I love that shot. Right there, yeah, beautiful lighting. Roxy is bad. She's she's just cold blooded, boy. Okay, that, now that, what's up? What's up with the air freshener? Perfect. I came with the freezer. Go ahead, Jeff. You can tell. That's just his air. That's just his air filter. And we were <laughs> we were sitting out there. Alfie was like, "Should I get that in the shot?" I was like, "Yes." That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, and, 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 speaking of. 
Speaking of hilarious, yeah, <laughs> he just busted me. <laughs> <up>. Right, <laughs> he, did that, he did that. He did that spontaneously. That wasn't like yeah. anything. He yeah. Did that. Oh, that's so. It just great. it just felt right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's and, and that little car that's that's my my and my wife's car, and we had that like air air freshener right there, and we. I think we we did talk about should we take it out or not and in my mind was like i mean he's a cop that doesn't really have time for the aesthetic he just some, wants something that works yeah so it, it, it he would put whatever air freshener would be in his car <laughs> yeah. at any moment so it's it, 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 it but it works because it just gives it that that little whimsical right. style you know that yeah. little beat visual uh -huh. beat yeah. that is pretty cool yeah Oh, when uh, when you fought the this character over here, uh, uh -huh. Bobby, it cracked me up when <laughs> when you you basically got the upper hand, and, right? And the look on her face was she was like in shock. I was like, you're you're kind of going up against Bobby Samuels. Should you really be shocked? <laughs> Listen, you know? she's a she's a she's a, a, a brilliant martial artist. You know. Oh yeah. He, he has very good screen presence. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, she was great too. Shout out to her, Renee Ortiz. She's, <laughs> she's gonna be coming up in my short film next year, so yeah, nice. We're building her up as well. She's gonna nice. be a badass. Nice. You Look see at her. her. Look at her go. Nice. This scene. Now, now, go ahead. I gotta. I gotta give. I gotta give the shout out to the brother who rolled up behind the kitchen Joseph. counter there. <laughs> 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 that, was that? that was amazing uh now was that the joseph ad lib that or was that planned no he ad libbed it oh yeah. it was great that was great <laughs> yeah Mike, let's go Mikey. there she goes yeah look yeah. at all this action this is so good thank you yes Woo! It's, again this is not a normal you know we wanted to challenge ourselves subject wise and it just you know we wanted to push the envelope so we wanted the audience to feel that journey from Philadelphia to Mexico with a matter yeah. of time or it's over. Yeah, for sure. Another thing that I uh, enjoyed about the movie is the movie, you guys don't, you guys don't, don't look down on your audience. A lot of times when, uh, you know, you have these big budget movies or, or triple a big budget disappointments. And a lot of times, <laughs> A lot of times they will basically, they, they think the audience is dumb. So you have to explain everything to the audience every 10 minutes because the audience is stupid. They can't follow along. They can't be patient and figure it out for themselves. Right. They, they, they don't like to trust the audience mm -hmm. to figure things out as they go. So they'll have a flashback and before another flashback. Mm -hmm. And then they'll have a scene play out. And then right after that scene, they'll have a flashback to that scene that right. just yeah. happened because the audience <laughs> is stupid. You're stupid. But hey, <laughs> the audience is not stupid. You guys are not stupid. And I love how this movie is like, hey, you got to be patient. Figure it out as you go. And then when you get to the finale, you're like, oh, holy shit. Now That's you... what's going on. Right. That's what I liked about Blackout. You know? I appreciate it, that. It trusts Thank the you. audience. Yep. Yep. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have some uh, legends in the house here. What's going on? The entertainment headquarters, Kevin, all the way from the UK, is watching right now. Oh, more okay. UK nice. badasses. Okay. Yeah. Red Eclipse yeah. in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Multi gun man. How's it going? It's good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for for uh, for chiming in. Good to see everyone. Thanks again for watching. But yeah, blackout uh, is definitely <clears throat> legit. But. Let's show some of the, uh, thanks again, Bobby, for sharing sure. these uh, behind the scenes exclusive photos. Yep. And we can still talk mm -hmm. shop about the movie. And then we have an exclusive clip right here. Only That's in right. the dojo. That's right. First That's time. Right. That's right. You guys get a little a sneak peek at Angel in action. But uh, Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, trying to bring up these images. There it is. I don't know why the images weren't popping up. There he is. Yeah. Now, uh, without spoiling anything, Bobby, can you talk a little bit about your character? Yeah, so I'm a courier, basically, I, and I, I do things for money. And uh, I, I'm transporting something in this particular subject matter. Um, however, I'm not transporting it like normal. 
um, I'm transporting it in a different way. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll let you guys figure it out when you see it. But um, we wanted we wanted it to feel very moody and film noirish uh, for the intro for my character. And here's where you see everything starting to uh, take place. What you're looking at is if the, if something goes wrong, I needed to have something ready to take myself out because I wasn't going to go through what's about to happen if it didn't go right. So, yes, copy that. I love this shot. This is a great shot in the movie, mm -hmm. man. So yeah. good. Something else needs to go on the poster. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff in this movie. We got to need a second poster. Man. Yeah, like poster. Uh, poster moment. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. 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 Here we go. That was showing uh, yes. some more stuff. That's um that's uh I think we're at Angel's house actually rehearsing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um the fight scene for the apartment mm -hmm. with Roxy and uh and Omar. Nice. That's right. And Omar's Omar's oh. one of B Squad Axion. He's really, really talented. So talented as you saw I he uh, he had a principal role in in, in Shadow Fist. We'll discuss next. Yes, for sure, for sure. Oh shit! Oh wow, mm -hmm. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is very difficult to figure out. <laughs> very subtle. Very what, subtle. What what no what happened there? A musical number breaks out uh, after this, right? <laughs> I think there's, a, there's what's going on. Yeah. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. The, well, the what was fun? What was actually funny? Was, what was actually funny about that shot previously with the axe in the head? I had to make sure that, I, like I was telling Angel, you can't be subtle with with hitting him in the head with that. You actually had <laughs> wanted him to give him some pop. Yeah, when yeah. that thing went in his head, you know. Otherwise, it wouldn't it wouldn't have registered right. Copy that. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Some more action direction right. there. Awesome, yep. awesome stuff. Yeah, uh, I, I, thankfully, I had a, a, enough time to prep most of the fights that we were gonna do down here in 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 Blackout, and, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, since uh, they already told me like one year before that they were coming, they sent me the script, and I saw the fight scenes that we we needed to work on, and actually we did do uh, a couple of previouses for the fights, so nice. The, um, the apartment fight scene and also the one that I that I have with with Mike, uh, shout out to Mike. Mike Peralta can be here. Shout out, Mike. Hey, Mike he's a he, he's a beast. Mikey. Yeah, he, he he's a he's a beast. So and yeah. we've worked together for also like the past three years. So we we had we've developed a nice little chemistry when we're working out choreo. And yeah, I, I did the previses, sent them to Jeff and and Bobby, and and just got the the seal of approval. Once they got here, they put their own twist, you know, just added more texture to the fight scenes, and and yeah. they just made it a whole mo a whole lot more complete. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. But oh, as yeah. you see, that teamwork it it it, it becomes magical. That's mm -hmm. right. Teamwork makes the dream yeah, work, baby. That's right. right. Say that yeah. all day long. Yeah. I'm telling yeah, you, he, right. he got talent. Listen, he got talent. Yeah. Phoenix and, and straight. Met him. Yeah. He, he walked on. He walked on to who got no complaint. It was like a day player and wound yeah. up choreographing oh, and, then, and then wound up keep continuing to go along. Like, oh, wait, mm -hmm. this cat right here. Guy, yeah. Guy, yeah. Guy, yeah. Guy. In fact, Ooh. it was uh, <laughs> Angel came up uh, with the original yep. concept for the bathroom scene and him and the bathroom put that out. That was oh, that was your that was your call because that was you your, like, yeah that that that, you showed, you showed that us bathroom his, scene was all Orlando and Angel and, and Angel yeah. yeah I must you showed, you showed us some previous and I followed I followed, mm -hmm. I, followed <laughs> I followed Angel on that one when I saw him, I'm telling you the day I met him the day I met him he was like hey, you know just showing me something I'm like hold up right yeah and I, 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 I just did that I'm like right? yeah it was in the gym he was you know we're doing practice he was just he wanted to be just a day player and I'm like. I'm like you did this, and he's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Can you do something up there?" And he was just like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Can you do something real quick?" And then he showed me like that, and I was like, "Yeah, no, he's in. Got it. You got nice. it." Nice. And then, and then just, yeah, that, we went in the bathroom, and I was like, "Go oh, play." Yeah. And then he, yeah. he's like, da, 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 da. I'm like, "Tweak, tweak, tweak, done." Yeah. That was all, all him right there. That bathroom you know, fight was legit. Little, it, 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 I mean, you were very that was, that was He's talented. Ugando made it, it earned a lot of awards across the world. Yeah. Well deserved. Really, uh, well deserved, man. Really surprising. 
That and Shadow yeah. Fist 2 were two of my yeah, favorite projects too. last yeah. year. Yeah. They yeah. were two, they were on the list. Uh-huh. On the <laughs> so list. now we come back with you with yeah. Shadow Fist 3 and Blackout. That's right. That's right. Look at the there he is in action. That's right. Peeking and shooting, peeking and shooting. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that was, we great, really... that was a great location at Angel Fountain. Yeah. Was this a yeah, tough, we, tough we shoot really here? Locked out it. Angel, was uh, it tough to shoot here? Did, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Angel. Yeah. Uh, it was tough in the sense that the sun was like really, really tough on us, uh, especially me wearing, well, us wearing the jackets. Uh, but aside from that, it, it was pretty easy, easy. Thankfully, the the owner of the place doesn't really use it for much. It used to be like a, a small water park, um, and um, they just don't use it at all. So uh, actually, Alfie uh, did a video there uh, uh, like a year before we we shot that, and I told him, "Do you still have the person who?" contact of the of the owner or something and he said i think like we i can get it so we went down there talked to them and just let them know that we wanted to film there for a couple of days nice. and uh and they said sure i mean we're not using it for anything as long as you're not blowing shit up you're good and i'm like <laughs> awesome okay yeah. and nice. uh, and and yeah they were pretty nice people and just the location just like works it it, it has everything oh, yeah. that that we kind of needed it to have like this greedy uh run down place and uh just gives it more attitude visually and also like helps out the story too like it, it, these guys aren't aren't dealing with like the the high tech you know like uh glossy buildings they're literally going to like back alley and roughed up yeah. neighborhoods to try and and, and work something out <laughs> so it, it was, I was fun. yeah, I was getting Streets of Rage, Double Dragon vibes. I was thinking about the Warriors, especially when nice. the location where you fight the two the two ladies, Bobby. Oh yeah, I was like, this is some Double Dragon Streets of Rage <laughs> shit. Yeah, I love it. I was loving it. I was loving it. But yeah, the fights are are legit, man. They're so good, Thank so you. good. But speaking of speaking of fights being that's, so good, that's Panchito so good. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Panchito. Yeah, shout He's out. He's really good. He's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But speaking of the fights being legit, Orlando, I saw you. I saw <laughs> you with them boxing skills, baby. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Look at Orlando showing off there. That was that was awesome, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank the you. Peek up the action. Yep. Yeah. You were like, you, was it was it your decision to throw in? Some of that uh -huh. peekaboo yep. boxing yeah. style. Yep. Yeah, because oh, I wanted so I good. wanted to change it up because like it, you know again like it, like I always say in fighting and like I said before like I like to have everything always different, right? And when I start seeing the rhythm and it starts kind of like almost getting to about to repeat, I'm like, nope, throw in something new. And then I just keep trying to push the envelope, you know. And this time I was like, hey, listen, why don't we just like try some peekaboo? And Bobby was like, Shh, let's go. And <laughs> We, and we gave it a shot you know we gave it a shot um my wife gave a little bit of that action also a tiny tiny bit but with her way and okay. she's the i don't know if you saw the the, the tall the tall one doing this so oh, wow in the parking lot that's, that was in the parking lot scene that's my wife wow oh she's so, a badass the one that wraps oh, yeah. no, up she, the ponytail so yep, so and, so what you mean is you're going to be a very faithful <laughs> husband <yes>. right <laughs> Yes. Yes. And she's the no, real no. deal. It's not she's a real deal. It's not all like just acting. She can actually fight. Yeah. She actually yeah, does she fight, can actually you know? fight. That's why I cast yeah. her. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, How so, cool is that? Fun fact. Yeah, you awesome. get right here in the dojo. How cool is yeah, that? It's yeah, man. Actually awesome. And she when yeah. she when she wants to she wanted to do like uh she's like, hey, I want to give it a shot. And she did it before, years ago, did a, a short with, with me and me and Nick, and she pulled it off nicely. And this time, um Bobby was like, yo, let, let's, you know, a tall female. I was like, I got perfect person. And sure enough, when she showed up, it was it was on it. She was on it, you know, oh. and then it just worked out. And then what I wanted to do is take from that, but not, you know, have its own thing. So I went in fully uh, peekaboo style. And I wanted right. to show it with kicks and everything. It's something that I've been practicing for a long time in real fighting, trying to pull it off, you know, for a real fight, kickboxing. And then yeah. I was like, this is perfect for, cin for cinema right now. It's like why yeah. not? And no. it just it I was like, yeah, let's let's see what see let's see what we can pull off with this. And it just worked out. It worked out nicely. Yeah, it was one of the best fights in the film, man. I really enjoyed it, man. 
you're throwing in a little bit of humor with your character. Can you can you talk about your character a little bit? <laughs> that was uh, Robert Jefferson's idea. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he directed me. He was like, I want to see a little more sass humor, and I was like, all right, let's get it. So you know, go from like a serious moment, and all of a sudden, like a <laughs> just throwing that uh, like something completely off the, off yeah. the wall, and then yeah, go yeah, back yeah. into going back into like let's go back to serious a little bit. You know, just kind of keep yeah. it like. Not too, not too serious about you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very, was very, uh, that was, uh, very, very. That was fun. a lot of throw. That was a lot of throw up too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, poor. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was just straight up like I'm, I'm like like this, and he's like, yes. <laughs> he was just, mm-hmm. he was just straight up like no, his, his, his directly, honestly, his directing is on point. So he was just directing me through yeah. it, and it was just like we came up with that, and it was on point. Yeah, you gotta have fun, especially when you're playing villain, yeah, man. You got you gotta have fun. That's what it's oh, all yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love Mr. playing the villain. I Mr. do not Mr. like being Jefferson. a good guy. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, tell us a little <laughs> bit about your character oh, in the film. Uh, so um I originally wasn't gonna do it, and then we we kind of <laughs> thought about we we used the person that, that we that we wanted to do it for something else and didn't want to repeat. So I was like, fine, I'll do it. And it was one of the things, like Bobby will tell you, was like when I wrote everything out, it was one of the characters I kind of obsessed over. And then Bobby was like, why don't you just do it? And I was like, all right, fine, I'll do it. And it's he's this unhinged guy who's in this back alley corner of Mexico, um, involved in all this shadow op stuff. And I feel like, you know, over time, I always kind of imagined him as like, Kind of slowly unraveling in the isolation, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> becoming like a legit weirdo. Yeah, yeah. I could tell. I could tell you were having fun with that character. The way you, the way you were speaking, and the, yeah, you know, it, had, it was like, oh, Robert's having fun. It had uh, I, I circled that back to Bobby sure. again, that, like Orlando did, because because at first I had a certain idea for him, and then Bobby was like, no, just do the thing that you're that you're thinking about doing. Don't. He's like, I can tell you're you're holding yourself back. Do the thing you're thinking about doing. I was like, all right. And then the rest is what is what you saw. Like I was like, I was like, okay, I because you, you know we trust each other. Yeah. So yeah. him saying that allowed me to 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 play comfortably. You know yeah. What I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were great. But that's and, how Jeff actually speaks. Like, like that's how he <laughs> speaks. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he starts to let you know, let him say he will flow. <laughs> People are gonna be afraid of the inner action. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, yeah, you gotta gotta have fun playing playing as the villain, man. That's what it's all about. I mean, we're pre- we're premiering it with uh, Demetrius Angelo's Urban Action Showcase. Um, so if you want to come on out, uh, November 11th. I mean, so many celebrities, so many uh, expo events. We got Rick Baker coming in from Eastern Heroes Magazine. Ooh, um, right. 50th anniversary of Enter the Dragon. Um, so again, please come on out, support this venture. I mean, it's for filmmakers that look like us. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, but don't we? But we can't just jump to Shadowfish Three yet. yet. We got an exclusive clip right here on the dojo. Yes. Let's go ahead and check out our man Angel in action. Enjoy. Enjoy. (laughs) Right again. again. (laughs) There we go.
Get up. Come on. Man, he comes back. Dude. That's my favorite fight scene in the movie. Yeah, that's what's that's up. Man. Yeah. That was that was fun. You're uh, part of the hatchet game. Small Angel. anecdote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take to film that uh, fight? What was it? Um it actually took me longer than it should because right. I got hurt in, in part of the choreo. <laughs> I got like oh, no. seriously hurt. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Maybe you, you don't notice it, but if you maybe recall some of the parts, I don't know if you see me kind of limping. It's because I got like seriously damaged in one of my legs. Yeah. Uh, oh no! Wow. Yeah, but, but Hong Kong but, style. Hong yeah, style. yeah, exactly, Hong Kong style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, we it's like put we tape on it. We're good. Part. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we filmed the first part, and um, I got hurt, and just my leg blew up. So we gave it a few days for it to cool down. And we finished the fight. Uh, thankfully, it looks g- good because I was afraid that we, it was going to look like really wonky on my movements and stuff. But uh, thankfully, it, it just looks looks badass. So, <laughs> so and, and, we and made it, it happened. It happened on one of the most beautiful parts of the fight scene. Yeah, you know. So yeah, yeah. it was a yeah, but, amazing uh, fight. I love the camera angles. I love oh, yeah. it. making things fresh. Alfie, and exciting. that's Alfie. Alfie's yeah. brilliant. Brilliant. So good. Sound design is great too, man. You feel yeah. the hits. Yeah, yeah. It's so important in action movies and martial yeah. arts movies, man. It's so important. Uh, but yeah, man, Angel, great job, brother. Yeah. Oh, well, you, you, we all know Angel's physically talented anyway. But now yeah. I know I got a shot, baby. I got a <laughs> shot. You, know, you guys can make me look good. Hopefully, I get a little fight scene in a future project part, with you guys. Part, 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 absolutely, one hundred percent. Part of what I uh, of what why I like oh, hell yeah <laughs> cast uh, Angel was because of his size and the way he yeah. moves for his size. I think that you know Sam Hong being big, you know, yeah, he was a mover, and he 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 reminds me in in how he does his action. Of Samo in some senses. Yes. Um, yes. And so that's why I'm <laughs> extremely, extremely talented in that respect. Oh no, for that, sure. For you sure. come on me too much, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm just geez. laughing at it. Like Angel, <laughs> Angel rolled his eyes. He was like, "Oh God." Like, it's all flattery, man. It's all good stuff. I mean, you worked hard. You injured yourself to get the job done. Yeah, you know, yeah, hey, kudos, my friend. Kudos. I yeah. honestly thought that your character was just hurt from fighting. And I thought you were just selling it in the movie, so it kind of yeah, worked. Beautiful, it, part. it, it worked. Kind of worked. worked. Beautiful part. <laughs> it fucking worked, but but not. Oh. Uh, it, it was a hard hit. It took me like three weeks to get back. Like yeah, uh, yeah. at one hundred. But uh, again, it was worth it. I mean, you can see it in the work. And Mike, Mikey just did a couple of crazy stunts in that uh, on that beat, like the uh, when. When I punch him in the leg, the air. oh my god! Yeah, when I punch him in the in in the foot, yeah. he like went full full send for it. Uh, he just literally just wind up, ran, and just threw himself like no wow. no padding, no nothing. Wow. And he did like probably like they five times. Time, right? he, did, like, he did it. He did it so much that I said, "That's it. I, whatever's <laughs> there, I'll figure it out." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One more, one more. more. I know that's gonna be better. I know, I know his mother and his kung fu teacher. They're both very close to me, and I, there's no way I could explain that one, you know. So, oh man, I had enough. No, it's fine. No, no, I got it. It's fine. He's kept going. Oh, my and but you, and, you, and you took some bumps is. too, Angel. You got kicked right in the bread basket, my friend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, the the clip cut, cuts before that, but Mikey does like a a, a very very solid kick and mm-hmm. just looks looks great on camera and like uh, mike is talented i mean yeah uh, i i i'm i always find myself grateful that he's part of the team because he's he's just amazing what he does uh and uh yeah. we've been able to grow as a team also because of him of uh, how he he approaches choreo how he yeah. approaches the work so yeah i'm really thankful for mike and, hopefully and i've known i've known mikey since he was a kid and mm-hmm. uh there was just something special about it and over the years, he just continued to practice, and and he has this like charisma. And I said, man. And then when we were actually on set, him and Roxy did a kung fu form together. 
because they've trained for years. And they were just so much in sync with the chemistry that at that moment is where I said, I have my two leads for Shadow Fist because yeah. I need that, that, that loving dynamic in order to pull that off. You know what I mean? So I wasn't going, and also I wanted mm -hmm. a female lead this time around. Right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. They're, they're great together. And we're going to get to that in a second here but yeah angel great fight scene axes to the head you, that's right axes to the head and uh, it says axe in the head would be a good band name <laughs> Ready, <go. laughs> yeah, so. Listen, I, I i got hurt in that scene as well i i think i was fighting panchito in the forest the gentleman with the red mask yeah and uh i think i i've rolled over the the stanchion where he actually rolls over and my that elbow, concrete table. that scene right there, and my elbow, it looked like I had a a, a tennis ball in my arm. Ooh. And it was right at the beginning of the fight. But I remember years ago when I got hurt on Don't Give a Damn Set, and I started like, oh, Sam was like, oh, you don't got no pain tolerance, no pain tolerance. And I was like, never again. <laughs> so I just went, they got me some ice. I just wrapped it real tight. And I felt it was just moving around like a ball in there. And I just, I, I powered through the scene. Got yeah. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. Punk like, punk or, like Orlando was saying, put some dirt on it. Rub some right. dirt on it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what did Chris Rock say? Put some Robotussin on it. Yes. <laughs> put that Rub some tussin. Put some tussin. Put that tussin on it. On it. Yeah. In Puerto Rico, uh, we were Polevix, Polevix. We were yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, Blackout. Hey, you guys got to see it at the Urban Action Showcase. Show up. Buy a ticket. Make sure you guys check it out. It'll be Don't a miss it. Yeah, yeah. And look at her. It says, Kevin says, I am looking forward to checking out Blackout. Looks like a lot of fun. There yes, you go. Thank you. We right. appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Thanks so we've got much. another comment here. Fat Samurai guys, Samuels, Robert, and Angel, Orlando, and Chat. What's going on? Late to the party, but here. Well, hey, hey the party's up? still up, going bro? on. The appreciate party. You, you haven't missed it, my friend. The party's still going on. We're still here. We're yeah, yeah. All the way from Germany. Look at that. People all oh. over the world watching right now. Wow, <laughs> Good wow. to see you, Nina. Good to see you. He's Thank a, you. Just Thank give you so Preston, much. just give Preston an epic death. And what do you think? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Orlando or Angel just breaks my neck. Bobby breaks my neck or something right, like that. Right. Yeah. We're gonna decapitate you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Keep that in oh, mind. It's noted. That's right. <laughs> but now it is time. To get that nostalgia on that's yes. right kung fu baby yeah let's go ahead and check out the trailer for shadow fist three First time, new the one. final chapter let's go in the third century a.d a little known second gonna try that again <laughs> here we go <laughs> In the 3rd century AD, a little-known sect of ascetic monks tapped into a potentially limitless power. They sealed these techniques behind a scroll of holy ruins. No se ha visto el pergamino en la parte. ¿Qué vieron en el pergamino? Inmortalidad. Poder infinito. Todo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What? 
Oh, she pulled it out. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The fight scenes are legit in this movie. You guys got to check it out for sure. Everybody watch it right now. But uh, let's take a look at it again and do our behind the scenes discussion. Hold on. We got to get into it. Uh, Bobby, I got to ask you, my brother, mm -hmm. is there going to be a Blu-ray release of all three films on it? Maybe edit it together as one movie or just all three short films on one uh, Blu-ray? So we were... Or DVD, either one. I'll take it. Right, right. So we are in the process of uh, combining them. But we also have an idea if this one, if the audience enjoys this, to take it back to the beginning for okay. another one. So oh, all right. All right. We, we would box them all up together. Okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Now, where, where's this location at? Huh, Angel? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is in, in Rosarito, uh, Mexico. It's a, a couple of miles away from Tijuana. So there's a part where near the beach where you can go and do like uh, mortar cross and and like um, the dirt bikes uh, area that you could like rent out and just be there for a moment. So we went there and see if they can rent out the space for for us to shoot a couple of hours there. Nice. Uh, thankfully, they were kind and they didn't really ask a lot of like you know permits nor anything we, we just, just literally we told them it was just us three and the actors and that's it <laughs> there's not there's not going to be like trucks or crew or whatever right uh but it fit specifically what we needed which was that kind of like desert like area so as, thankfully the like the dunes that they had there were large enough that just it looks big it looks mm -hmm. uh uh, epic and uh, basically just with cameras, cinema magic, we made it look even bigger, right? So right, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it, it it was an easy find, and we were really lucky to to find it that 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 easy and that close to home because that also uh, Jeff and Bobby were staying close to that area, so it was like yeah. literally you could probably walk there. Not really, but. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bobby, uh, yes. without spoiling in it, let us know, uh, you know, everybody watching, what the story is at this point. The, uh, the basic plot synopsis. Then. Yeah. I'm going to let Jefferson handle that. Sure. Because he wrote the story. Oh, there you go. Um, well, it, this this is it becomes the round robin situation. So what, when we first started talking about this, Bobby, as he said, he wanted something for Roxy and Mikey. And I was like, it's a brother and sister. Um, it's a continuation from, from uh, Shadow Fist 2. And for this one, we, we were like, I got I to put it. Everyone liked at Shadow Fist 2 like way more than what we were ready for. So we had to figure out how to top that storyline. And I said, the only way you could, you, could, you could top it is to really explain what the deal is with the scroll because we kind of just sketched it in for the last one and threw kung fu at it this one we decided to have the brother and sister vibe to to give it some some grounding they're searching for the scroll again it's been lost since in the 30 year span that that's come between shadow fist 2 and this film mm -hmm. and um there's also a bad guy who knows about it as well and he's searching for it but the trick is only certain people can use the scroll and and you have to be pure of intent and you have to have the right motives and the right heart otherwise right. turns on you gotcha there you go guys the scroll yeah <laughs> and last for, for shadow fist 2 again that was uh that was good and but we wanted to challenge ourselves this time we wanted we wanted it to feel bigger we wanted it to be more story driven. We wanted to have same comparable action, but let the action be motivated more so this time around um, with the explanation of the origins of the scroll. And, and also the poignant relationship between the characters uh, that lead the film, which yeah. is Roxy and Mikey. And, I, and how can I forget our special guest, Ron Hall? Oh, that's right. 
vampire assassin himself. That's right. <laughs> he, he makes a uh, a triumphant comeback in this film, and I'm yeah. honored. I'm honored. He hasn't been on screen in a minute, and he did very well. Yeah, seeing him move in the trailer, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, he looks great. Look at that. Yeah, we pulling out all the styles. We pulling out all the styles. Let's go. Yeah, the two Funky. master fight. Yeah. Yeah. Came and blown. There he is. There he is. Look at him. Look at him go. There he is, Mr. Ron Hall. <laughs> Look at that. He's still got the moves. Yeah. This was another great fight. Yeah. The weapons fights were pretty good. And, of course, the monk fight. I did. Yeah. That's one of my favorite fights. Got that monk fight in there. Yeah. Bobby throwing down. Oh, this one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this fight was so good, man. <laughs> she just goes off. She just goes off. She goes so bananas. Good. Yeah. Ooh, love the hits. Love the hits. And, of course, it ends poignantly. Yeah. There's our two our two leads here. Yeah. Two uh, protagonists taking the taking the adventure together. And uh his character, uh, he's really ambitious in the movie. Right? He's <laughs> really just like, is. I'm the I'm the I should have the scroll. He's you impetuous. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. You know? yes. But I, I wanted her, because I remember when I discussed it with Roxy, I said, listen, I don't want you playing it, man, but I want you to play Ipish. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I, I need you to have some of those subtle qualities, but don't go all the way, but then, you know, but then, but then. So she found the right balance, and it was yeah. just, it's a brilliant performance. Yeah. They did great together. And she had to put she had to put him in his place a little bit too. Right. Yeah, look at that. Look at that title. Yeah. And shout out to Reese Tanaka on that. Shout out to Reese Tanaka. Uh, uh, the poster work, art design, our title blocks, everything is designed uh with uh from Reese Tanaka Entertainment. So shout out, thank you so much. And also shout out to Oso Tiari Cassell and right, Vincent Pitman. Uh None of these films would have gotten done without the both of them. Uh, also, Tiari Castell for funding and financing us, and Vincent Pittman for um, producing the films. Uh, anytime we needed something, you know, flight arrangements, funding, I mean, they, they were just there. They, don't, they didn't question it, and they helped us. So we really appreciate yeah. that, you know. And, of course, oh, yeah. the one who we always got to – I always got to give thanks to Alan Goldberg because it all started. He was the first one that ever helped us when we came back and, and started this venture. Oh yeah! Shout out to Excellent. Alan. Shout out to Alan. Uh, Nina, Nina here. Uh, he said he likes the sound effects because he knows what's up. <laughs> Nina like Nina knows what's up with old school kung fu movies, man. Right? Like, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, man. we 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 this one we we really bring it back old school, and I guarantee if you used to watch Black Belt Theater, and I mean Shadow Fist Two was was good, entertaining, but yeah. I, I can definitely promise you a bigger ride this time. Oh yeah. He says, nice design there. He's and and shout out to, listen, shout out to Angel and, and B-Squad Action. Um, for the last three years, all of our hits, uh, Orlando, Nick, mm -hmm. Deviant Children, our partnerships together, mm -hmm. uh, we've had nothing but success. So it's never been about just R4. You know, they are R4 as well as they have their own uh, um, filmmaking um, opportunities. But when we can right. all just leave leave all the egos at the side and just work for the common goal of, of, of a final product. I mean, it, the work yep. says it all. The work I, says I just it want all. to piggyback off that too, Bobby, because you, going back to the story point, um, I had a sort of a, what I felt like was, was an outline of the story. I kept saying, I kept saying that to Bobby, like, I feel like it needs more. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, it's fine. Two things happen. Number one, Roxy and Mikey got a, got a, a hold of the, of the script and, and elevated it to another level. The next thing that happened was Angel, uh, one of the things I like about Angel is he he understands story mm -hmm. and story yes. beats. And yes. there's a lot of things that, that happened throughout the film that weren't in the original script that wow. Angel And Angel so came shout out to Angel. Shout out, brother. Thank nice. you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Like for me, like yeah, case it, in point, it was fun. real quick, case in point, Preston, like you saw the film, 
Mm -hmm. I I wanted a different ending for the film. Right. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? You know me. I'm old school. Yeah. Uh, You know, Shabba, get him out of here, whatever. Right, right, right. uh, Angel and Jeff kind of worked together, and Angel came up with some concepts, and then you know, when they came up with the way how they wanted it, I said, wait a second, that that, that actually gives the, the film that, that that emotional arc that the audience probably won't be expecting. Right. So yeah. that's what I wanted to say. Thank yeah. you. That was good. Angel, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's fine. That's fine. No, it, th- this time around was uh, for Shadow Fist 3 was uh, interesting and a lot of fun because uh, I, I, I wasn't focused just on the choreo uh we were focused really on telling a, a a really epic and and like personal story between these the, these two siblings who just are you know trying to to be the best at what they can do and 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 looking out for each other in a way uh obviously each have their own sort of ego and you can tell when the story progresses but the the action the way that we approached it this time was I, I was following Bobby's lead on this one because I, I've never done like full on kung fu action, so uh, we really did a lot of how they do it in Hong Kong. Like we, we did most of the choreos on the day on the spot, like yeah. trying to build uh, those rhythms and those shapes so that way it looks it, it looks uh, uh, spontaneous. It looks uh, strong. And I mean, I think this was kind of like the first time that we really worked together on the choreos, like legit together, like, uh, you know, um, building off each other, yep. whatever ideas we had. So that was a lot of fun and very entertaining um, to uh, to do and to watch <laughs> because it's it's a lot of fun for me just to work work things out like that. And then on the story side, uh when we start to talk with jeff uh they had like the 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 idea and everything of what they wanted to do but there were still beats that were missing you know those little emotional beats that 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 just basically grounds the story more and and has that emotional through line uh throughout the whole movie and just has you connect with the characters so talking with Jeff, uh, I uh, I don't know if I've uh, <laughs> if he got either annoyed with me, but I started to ask a lot of questions like why does this happen? Why why does the scroll work the way that it works? Uh, what's the meaning behind the scroll? And I mean I, I started to like dig deep, and he was like, I don't know, Angel. Shut up, man. <laughs> but <laughs> because because angel because it's magic, angel. It's, it's a fucking scroll, man. It's a fucking scroll. It's magic. Just go with it, man. <laughs> no, but but, but, you, but you, thankfully you're kind of the writing down, partner. Man. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, Angel's wow. kind of the writing partner. I didn't know. I knew. <laughs> like like he he asked questions that that. I'm not really thinking of, and then no matter whether I wanted to hear it or not, after he says the shit, I was like, oh, right. like damn yeah. it, he's right. Okay, yeah, well, we're doing this now, everyone. We're doing this now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great, but he, but everybody. He, but he's also very humble about it. He's always like, yeah. "Hey, yeah. Jeff, is it cool? Can I can I ask you a question? Can I yeah. can I run this past you real quick?" And yeah. then and then he's so humble, and then the idea is like, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah. this now. <laughs> it's like he, he nukes your brain with ideas. It's like, yeah. it's like hey, boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I think I think I think I think when as, as as the filmmaking process is, it's it's a collaborative venture, and I think yes. that a person can be called the director, but in <laughs> essence, right. that's just I'm just somebody that's kind of making sure everybody is working together. It's really a collaboration of all, everyone's ideas. So when you can kind of mm-hmm. put your egos beside yourself and just work for the common goal, that's why go. we have had success for three years now. Um, and and I know what yeah. we have. And Preston, you've seen both films. Oh yeah. So I know that the, I think the audience will appreciate um, the energy, yeah, and creativity that we attempted to do with these two films. Yeah. And, and you know if I you know if I say it's legit, it's legit. <laughs> All right, that's right, that's right. I'm just, I'm just jealous. I wish I was there to watch it with you guys at Urban uh, Action Showcase. You know, maybe next year I'll get out there. But yeah. go ahead, go ahead, Robert. 
and listen, our, the ethos is is always if that shit's dope, we're doing it. Like it doesn't matter if some who came up with it, if it was the guy that just walked up, if somebody right. points out something that that's dope, and we are we're all like, hmm, we're doing that shit. We're putting mm-hmm. it in because we're we're fans first. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're not the, yeah. since we don't have like a Hollywood structure forcing us to do certain things or you know um um bow to a certain you know aesthetic we're we're doing this all the stuff that that we wish we would have seen in other movies we're doing that shit in our movies that's yeah. that's what we what we try and do all the time so every time Orlando or Angel or Bobby or and you know Nick anybody yeah. Mikey somebody has a good idea it's going in the movie and yeah. that and that's what you're seeing yeah. When you see our stuff, it's like mm-hmm. a bunch of good ideas. There's no ego involved. If right. your idea is better than my idea, then we'll we're going to use it. that shit out. Yeah, put your yeah. shit in. Yeah, that's how I see. It, I feel like a, a, yeah, I, I see like a, like you know what you have a captain of a boat, right? Yeah. Well, the captain is you know everybody. The captain, the captain cannot have that boat without anybody in there. The crew, you know, let's say we're all rowing the boat at the same time. We're managing the whole, the whole, the whole boat, like a sailboat or something, right? Mm-hmm. Captain can't do it alone. He needs it with everybody. It, it, it's we follow whoever is the captain of the day, and we just like whatever he says. Says he guides us, and then we're, our ideas. We're like, all right. He says, oh, okay, so that works better for this, you know. And it's it's more like that. That's how we all collaborate and stuff. And it, it just it just works like that. So whoever is the captain of the day, it's like we're like, all right. And their job is to haul us in on the on the on, on the way, and then we just follow suit in the moment. If the idea is good, we keep it. If the idea is bad, we talk about it and then you know and stuff like that or we even pick from the idea that was that was bad something good you know and and that's how i like to see it like when we just so far it's been nothing but blessings because even when we, we after that working with even with, with angel is it's been another blessing because he would explode your brain with ideas you know and then it, it, it's like there's no wrong idea you know what I'm saying? It's more like, how can we execute it where we can, uh, as a fan, we love it. If yeah. we can't, then it's like, all right, well, well let's not do that. You know? And even right. when I do believe, I have a big, gigantic belief, and I tell the guys all the time, where I'm always I'm the cheerleader. Um, I'm always like, even when we get to that level of Hollywood, you know, I always say, like, we're, this is going to always work because it's us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, you know, imagine us working on something like this, and you have somebody with a suit behind us says, I think that camera should, we tell them to get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's flat out, <laughs> It's the reason why these things work is because the art, you know, because all of us are fans. The there moment we start putting in somebody who's not, who's not, not part of a, uh, who's not a fan, yeah. like somebody in suit comes in. First time I'm asking, it's like, do you know about Dragon Ball? <laughs> <laughs> you know, an example. Or, yeah. or do you at least watch the Shaw Brothers? Any movie, any. Yeah. If it's the answer is no, get out. <laughs> are you a pow- Are you a Power or- Rangers fan? Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, you're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, no, well, the, well said, Orlando. The the goal the goal for for from from my, from my perspective is we do these shorts, but we want them to actually feel like big yeah. films. Right. Yeah. Sometimes when you watch the shorts that we do, you actually get lost in the time and not realize like, wow, that actually felt like it was a whole movie. Uh, yep. And I, that's the balancing acts. A lot of short films have to to kind of figure out, you know, a, a beginning, a middle, and a, and a satisfying ending in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what we've been able to do that. But now, you know, next, this this is it. Blackout and 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 Shadow Fist Three were the last of our shorts. Uh, so moving forward, we're concentrating on on full length features. Yes. Uh, we have uh, our first mm-hmm. feature that we're we're, we're co co uh, producing with uh, Angel and Orlando and Woo! Nick. Um, oh man, I'm excited we're already. We make we're going to ch- attempt to do a, a loose adaptation of uh, the Professional with Ooh. Leon. All right, all right. Yeah. I can dig it. Yep. I'm excited. That's I know it's going to be legit, like all your short films have been. Oh, it's going to be. Epic. And and going back and rewinding a little bit back to Blackout. <laughs> I had the same. Remember, I don't know if you do. You remember my nitpick I had on Hugango Con Fuego? Uh, re, 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 refresh us. Oh, my nitpick I had was because I loved it. My uh-huh. nitpick was it ended. I was like, no. I was yeah. like, no. <laughs> that was my nitpick. Yeah. Same thing with Blackout. 
<laughs> when it, when Blackout went to credits, I was like, no. I was like, right. God damn it. But uh, but no, that's good. That means I was invested. Correct. In the story. Correct. Yeah. You went along for yeah. the ride. I wanted some more. Yeah, it's a good uh -huh. thing. And speaking of yeah. wanting some more, uh, man, this fight here. I was oh she goes off when she pulls out the weapons I screamed Bobby oh you like I was like that. oh shit <laughs> <laughs> where did she pull those out from it's amazing uh, but yeah I love the lighting I love this so good it's so good so good we got some uh, some comments here uh, Nina's asking will will they be able to at some point watch both of these movies in Germany will it be yes. digitally yes okay there you go Nina. Yes, nice. definitely will. Right after Urban Action, they go into the festivals for a short period. Um, and after the festivals, we'll schedule releases for both films. Nice. Uh, he says, uh, me as an actor and designer have big respect for your guys' work. Look at that. Uh, thank Look you. That. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. that. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, OGP says, you guys are making me wet to see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the biggest Kung Fu fan, but this sounds great. <laughs> Shout out to OGP. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, yeah, uh, I could talk about action and martial arts and Kung Fu movies uh, with these legends all day. And Power Rangers. Yes. I could talk about that all day. Uh, but these legends are extremely busy filmmakers. And uh, I, I, can't, I, I, can't, I can't keep them here in the dojo. I got to let them out because they got, they got work to do and uh, creating more awesome movie content. I can't wait for this project coming out. I'm excited. We're going to have to come back to the dojo again yes. to talk about that upcoming project. I just wanted uh, to, to make a little bit of an announcement because oh, uh, sure. I'm, Go ahead. I'm doing my first directorial debut on an action short film that I wrote. So it's, it's going to be big. It's going to feel big. Uh, All right. The protagonist is going to be Renee Ortiz. She, she's the the young blonde lady who fights Mr. Robert Samuels. Gets shocked when he, she, he gets the upper hand. Uh, and the title of the short film is Angie. So it's going to be uh, yeah. really violent, really really Sold. intense. So <laughs> hopefully next year, once it's yep. out, I, I can come down here with some of the cast and crew and just have fun and talk shop as well. Yeah. And yeah, for sure, man. The, the important or like the really uh, thing that you guys need to to know about the project is it's going to be full on Mexican produced. No, it's nice. not going to be uh, nice. an international collab. Although I love working with Samuels and Jeff and everyone oh, from no. the U.S., oh. but <laughs> but uh, there's no action cinema or martial arts action cinema in Mexico. Right. It's not being produced, so right. we're gonna be kind of like the first ones to do it. All right, and we're really excited for it, and hopefully, once you guys see it, you'll see that we're at the level of Hollywood or Asia or Europe. Let's and go. We're going to be in the, the conversation. Mexico is going to be on the map on the action cinema part. I'm oh, going yeah. to be sure. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's part of the reason why we continue to go. We've been filming now Mexico for what, about six years? Six years now? Okay. Off and 2016? No, 2017. 17, yeah. 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 Um, it's, a, it's the place is just, number one, we'll start with the people. They're just so kind and wonderful. Um, and they just yeah. don't have the opportunities uh, to be showcased in action films. Um, right, so right. it was it was a, a complete honor and pleasure to meet Angel and his team, and Likewise. we've been working together ever since. Likewise. But again, yeah. that's the purpose of us going down there to actually put focus on Mexico and how underserved it is in the action market. Um, when I think about who is the Latin action female star right now, I really can't think of any. Roxalinda, like right now, she's leading the pack with what she's done. Ugando yeah. and Blackout and and definitely really? Shadowfist. When you see Shadowfist, there will be no denying no. Uh, her viability. She is legit. Like yeah. I said, like I said, if really? I say it's legit, it's really? legit. But this, I'm gonna. This is a perfect segue. So I want everybody watching right now. Send Amy a message. Send her a message. Hashtag it. Get it out there because this this has to happen. This is a dream match, baby. That's Ooh. right. I want to oh, see. Yes. Let's fucking go. Yes. Oh, yes. Be dope. Versus Amy Johnson. Home, we move. And so listen. There you go. There you go. Look, look, looking Let's at this. Go. Actually, looking at this actually brings it to what I had discussed earlier. How I actually wanted to do 
a loose like yes madam oh perfect perfect that's that's oh. the that's the, the 2024 like version of yes madam right there yes mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. yeah i would love to see them at a yes madam like project or just just going at it but this this has to happen so hashtag it share it get it out there i started it here yes send <laughs> let's me go. a message Send Roxy well, a message. See, send Amy yes. a message. Let's 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 get th let's make this happen. Hey, 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 send me that photo so I can it. put that out there and, and, I will. and, and, and push that. Yeah, I'll send yeah. it to you. I'll send yeah, it to you. Make that yeah. Bobby, Bobby, we could call, we could call it we could call it C Doña. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like oh, that. We got to do it. We got to do it. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Ideas. <laughs> Ideas here. I want to see a Lucha Libre martial arts movie. Hey, there you oh, go. That's up. Wait. There uh, you go. Um, so, hey, El Jefe will have this conversation later. <laughs> ah. We, we, got some, we, got, we got some ideas cooking up on that. We've okay. Have it in the, in the, we've had to put it in the box for a little bit. For a little bit. Okay. You know, we've, we wanted to focus on Juan con Fuego. But El Jefe, you know, Nick, Nick. has some crazy ideas with that and mm -hmm. we haven't produced it out yet until we let these out and then it's like hey look at this but sure, we gotta talk uh, about we'll it, i had a similar idea we'll too mm -hmm. yeah there you go there yeah you we go. we wow. we had that we had that combo that's why i was like oh wait a see. um there you go we'll, we'll, we'll do this yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh last Sorry. comment here before we uh wrap it up for the day it says there's glad to to know that there's still filmmakers out there with much love for movies of a past era generation. Respect always. Yes. Thank you uh, for Thank that. Thank you. Comment. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate yes, that. Yes. yes. You know, uh, I know good, that a good lot evening, of, everyone. A lot of, <laughs> good evening, <laughs> a lot of Go ahead. Go ahead and, and wire work and all that. I just, it's something about the, the physical contact of, of, of the old style of action. Where yes, yes. Mano a mano, you know, and, and you get it yeah. in and, and you don't have to depend on the gimmicks and the, and the technology that we, we bring it back to what, what, what original cinema was, action cinema. Yes, yes, very well said, very well said. And, and, and I'm gonna, go ahead. I'm going to piggyback on that real quick. Um, with everything that's going on right now, like everybody's witnessing with all the digital stuff and all that, there's one thing that, that you know, they cannot take from us and it's, it's the human skill the actual mm. human skill you can have all the cgi you want and at one point it's going to get boring you know it can That's get very right. boring you can yeah. never take away human skill because human abilities is still impressive as people try to push the boundaries and like you know who would have known you could do a double backflip one standing you right. know what i'm saying you could barely do a, a just 30 years ago one backflip was super impressive now we're doing two and almost three it's almost like the the, the the three minute mile, you know, when, when somebody break broke the four minute and hit the three minutes, like everybody just started breaking. So the same thing with this is like, you can have all the CGI you want, you can have all the computer and the AI is like, okay, cool, good for you, that's cute. But you can never beat human skill. That's you know, right. Human, human, human ability, like the, the stuff that we're, we could keep pushing boundaries and see how crazy we can go with it. You know what I'm saying? That'll always be impressive. That's why I have, I have more than enough faith that we're going to be we're going to be trying to push boundaries and other filmmakers out there are going to be pushing boundaries like that also yes yes throw that in there yeah no perfect perfect well said uh but this was a blast all of Thanks you badasses yes yes Thank always you guys are always welcome here uh before we wrap it up we're going to go around a little bit here we'll start with you orlando anything you'd like to say to your fans and followers I would like to say, um, hey, thank you for following us. And then if you like what we have done so far with our four films and Demetri the Productions, wait until you see what, com what comes next. Um, if you haven't subscribed or followed our pages yet, you might want to jump on that ASAP. Okay? And thank you again. Yes, there he is. The, 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 the scientist. That's right. <laughs> um, I'm just really excited for everybody to, to see these two films, uh, Blackout and, and um, Shadow Fist Three. Uh, I'm I'm it was, they were labors of love. Uh, they they came out of our out of our crazy fan addled brains, and you'll see uh, a lot of um, different um, just things that we've plucked from pop culture, like. My son saw Shadow Fist and and was like, it kind of reminds me of Star Wars in in a sense. And I'm like, it's weird you said that, but I was kind of thinking of like Shadow Fist. I mean, uh, Star Wars and like and like 
anime stuff and other things like that. We're not when you know we're sitting down there to write it and thinking of certain motifs. So I think that um what we put together as a as a team is something that people are going to enjoy if you enjoy action. So come see this. Oh yeah. Angel. Oh crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say to your fans and followers? Well, uh, for starters, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us. Uh, if you want to follow more, just make sure to go to our Instagram pages. Uh, mine is Angel G Brophy Oficial at Instagram. If you want to follow the Mexican stunt team B Squad, B Squad Acción in Instagram. Uh, also, shout out to the B Squad crew who can be here uh, on the live. But uh, just very, very blessed to be working with these talented guys. And one more shout out to Jose Manuel, who's going to be also on the uh, Action Film Festival yes. with his own project, Borican. So, yeah. yeah. So you, you guys should be there for all these three projects. They're going to be, they're off yeah. the hook. You're going to enjoy them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that a Yu Yu Hakusho shirt you got there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, see? Geek recognizes geek. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and now, the la last but not least, Bobby. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, once these films come out, I really hope that you go and enjoy them. Uh, I, I appreciate all the love and support. I'm about to flip this over now to full-length features, full-time, and I hope I can you continue to give me your support. Um Shout out to Demetrius Angelo, also Tiari Gassel, Vincent Pittman. We appreciate all your love and support. And I'll see you guys on November 11th at the Urban Action Showcase, celebrating the 50th anniversary of uh, Enter the Dragon. I'll be hosting and moderating the panel uh, with a couple of cast members from Enter the Dragon. Um, and it's going to be a, a blast. Um, so thank you, guys. And also uh, Rick Baker from Eastern Heroes Magazine. Um, they'll be in attendance as well. So please, there'll be plenty of merchandise. Come on out and support everything shout out to simon pritchard thanks for all the love and support we really appreciate that um Libby golden without a doubt brother i appreciate everything you do as well also yeah, shout out. one one last shout out to bcb films the BCB. guys who that's yeah, right alfredo Pedro, and the crew jose, the, jose. The, the jesus, jesus. Luis Orozco, all of those guys yes uh they're they're a great production team and uh, You'll be seeing more of them eventually. So if you want to visit their and, page on Instagram, and and we've got Jason, James, Santi, Giselle, yeah. their family that hosts us every year in Mexico yeah. and, and and help with, with whatever we need um, to learn to, to navigate around Mexico. They're producers as well, uh, and we could not have done it without them. So we love them. We love their family, and we appreciate them always opening their home and supporting us. Thanks. Yeah, that's right. That's Thank right. You guys. Oh yeah, got to get the shout outs out there. You know? Yeah, got to do it. <laughs> you guys, people, you know, all of you, uh, extremely talented, and you surround yourselves with talented people. You keep winning awards, kicking ass, taking names, but it's all about family, family, yes. and uh, everybody. Like you know, Bobby said earlier, everybody working hard together to achieve a common goal and make something special. And that's what it's all about. So I did put everybody watching links for every everything. Yes. Everything in description box below. All of their social security numbers are there. Credit card <laughs> numbers are all there. There you go. So you can follow everyone on their filmmaking journey. But don't forget, hashtag it. Get it out there. Yes. Get this out there. This needs to happen. <laughs> manifest this. Samurai manifest. guy started it. Well, let's manifest this. Make it happen. Yes, yes, there you go. <laughs> Is promoted on Instagram. He'll show. Yeah, well, I'll, yes. I'll I'll share the I'll share the picture with everybody here. And, awesome. And, yeah. Yeah. and then thank they can you. everyone can share it as well as this mm -hmm. live stream. All right, guys. Thanks again for yeah. hanging out here in the dojo. Don't you guys go anywhere, but all you guys, y'all know what you need to do. That's right. Go to the Urban Action Showcase Expo West website, click on it, see what's coming up, buy a ticket if you're out there, attend it, see that double feature of Shadowfish 3 and Blackout. But all of you, if you can't make it, hey, just stay tuned. You can always watch it a little bit later digitally. And uh, keep supporting the genre. Keep kung fu movies strong, martial arts movies strong, action movies strong. Keep it out there because it's what it's all about, baby. It's This is one of the best genres 
we got going today. That's right. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.